How's it going? This is the Tech Gooch with another video review for you. This time I'm going back to the PC again uh, with another peripheral or accessory. And uh, I'm going to do it on my newest mouse, which is the Cyborg Rat 7. Uh, it's actually not in here because I've actually been using it for quite a while now. Um, it's a 5600 DPI mouse. It's a gaming mouse, uh, completely customizable and uh, programmable. And I uh, thought I'd show you how it works, show you the little bit of interface that's on the computer the, to uh, change everything around, and uh, give you my impressions about it. Uh, so, here we go. Okay, so here's the box. I don't have the mouse in the box, but it's, I thought it's, it's kind of a funky box. So I thought I'd show you how to open it, I guess, first. <laughs> it kind of looks goes like this. This is obviously where the mouse was originally. Inside the back cover here. Pops out, get all this stuff out of the way. All the software and instruction booklets, and this fine piece right here. And inside here are some of the accessories for the mouse. We have different palm rests. There are three that total that come with it, the one I have on there, plus two different ones. Um, also, I'll just throw these back in here. This is a weight cartridge. All the weights actually come on the mouse, but if you choose to reduce the weight of the mouse, you can actually put some of it here. I actually like a heavy mouse, so I left them all in. And there is two other, I guess what I call, uh, pinky rests. Um, boy, if I get it out of the dig full. There we go. Uh, so they're basically the size of the mouse. And uh, what has obviously this guy here, and I'll show you the one that I have on here. The one I have on does not have rubber. This one is basically the same thing I have, except for this has like a nice rubber grip on it. So if you wanted a nice rubber grip, you could change over to that. I'll do that later. And but I mean, it's pretty nice. A little tin, all the little accessories that you can keep. And here is the mouse. It's nicely sized. It's completely uh, obviously it's programmable, but like for the different sizes, there's actually a button on the side back here which you basically squeeze and you can adjust it to fit your hand better so it, it adjusts to you this i kind of like a, a, a nice small mouse i sometimes you know for the most part just a little bit of back for me but um uh there is uh, the 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 peaky rest over here this piece right here is also that replaceable piece and obviously to, re to replace this piece you just squeeze and you pull the whole thing off but it just slides on, on a rail about here uh, for standard buttons there's obviously right left click uh, scroll uh, this right here is actually your profile setting you just hit it and it changes color depending on the profile you have set up there's three different profiles so you can say you know for different games or whatever uh, this will this little display will show you the resolution and that's what this clicker right here it's a rocker switch you can either increase or decrease the DPI settings of the mouse so depending on how fast you want the mouse to scroll or whatever you're doing however no matter what you are doing if you have it set on whatever if you uh, hold this red button down here this is more like a sniper mode if you hold this it automatically decreases the the, the scrolling of the mouse so you could you could really get nice and tight so if you're you know you like a high resolution all of a sudden uh you want to snipe somebody that's why it's called snipe mode you click this so it doesn't move as fast there's obviously a front forward and backward uh browsing button or obviously they're programmable but there's also this guy which is uh a, basically the uh, just a, a horizontal movement of this of this you can obviously set these to do whatever you want so um but there we go that's what the mouse looks like it's really obviously mechanical looking uh it's pretty neat the uh it, it's all made out of has aluminum chassis you can see the weights that are removable and that's what this dial right here you just basically take them out that way uh, other than that uh you could also adjust where this thumb piece resides with an allen wrench I believe it actually comes with it uh, and you basically twist that and that moves this either forward or backward depending and you can see there's the screw that it actually goes on or sorry that's the screw that it actually moves up and down with so um, currently I use my storm tactics by CM storm uh, 
fun little mouse pad. I like it. Uh, but the mouse is a terrific mouse. It is uh, it has a lot of awards already. Uh, Maximum PC gave it its kick-ass award, and it is a kick-ass product in my opinion. It is a fantastic mouse. I like it a lot better than my other one that I have, which I'll do another video sometime on. And that's actually why I bought this CM Storm because I have a, I have a CM Storm mouse as well. So, um, but that's what the mouse looks like. If uh, I guess I'll show you what the uh, the settings look like. Okay, so here we are on my desktop. Uh, it runs in the background. The little you can see the little picture of the mouse. It's the Cyborg Seven, um, and I just want to go to the profile editor. And from the profile editor, like it, like it, like it says, you can create what those three profiles are: the uh, the the red, the blue, and the what is it, is it purple? Uh, yeah, it's kind of purplish, I guess. Uh, but here it is. It tells you about the product, uh, and there's obviously up here. So settings. You go to the settings. It'll tell you everything about the mouse. Um, if I actually click the button, you can watch the different resolutions for all four of the modes that you that uh, the resolution pieces. So obviously, when I click up to the second mode, it changes. So that's what I have them set to. And you can obviously change that. You just basically scroll this up and down. Uh, precision aim is that button down below. You could uh, change how far down you want it, that to uh, to differ. Um, obviously, right now I have it basically right down the center. That's the default setting, uh, and it works good for me. So uh, programming, you can actually program like I like I said. There's three different modes right here. It, the colors will show you. There's the red, the blue, and of course the purple, pinkish purple, whatever. And you basically whatever you want so in this mode this is my standard uh, browsing mode the red mode uh, so everything is what it normally does if we're going to mode 2 however um, oh maybe loaded profile oh maybe I haven't I reformatted recently so uh, I don't know if there's a yeah so uh, this would be my left for dead uh, mode. So I guess I have that on mode one for red, red, left for dead, whatever. Uh, so the back button is our, uh, I call that use. Uh, that would be your forward button, reload and use. Um, and then everything else is set for what I do with left for dead. And then I guess blue would be my standard mode. And uh, yeah, so you could you could change these, and of course you could save them. So you could you you have one set up for with three modes, and then you can have a different one with three different modes, and you could just open uh, load and uh, and save them in this settings editor. So uh, you could flip it over, and you could adjust sensitivity. Um, basically, you could you could change everything in here. So with that said, um, and that's how you activate the profile. That it's pretty simple. It's it's not a real fancy one, um, and it works really good. I guess that's the that's the main point. So I have no problems with this. It's really simple. It's easy to use. It's easy to program. Uh, I guess I could show you how to program it. Um, so if I wanted this forward button right here to do something, right now it, if you can see there's a we're in the program editor. So all I got to do is on the keyboard if I wanted let's say I wanted this to be the use or the e, I just type e, okay and then I hit the checkpoint. If I keep typing, it'll keep adding keys, so it'll obviously do E, G, J. Um, and of course you can backspace and everything. If you don't want to do that, all you do is hit cancel, and then if you want to try again, you just do it again. So E, say I wanted to call it, I wanted to do E, and then I can name it, well, it's use is what it is. Hit enter, there we go. Now it's called use, and it uses the button E. So pretty simple nothing too fancy nothing too hard so that's how the editor works so there we have it there that's a pretty simple standard quick review of the cyborg rat 7 mouse or rat7 however you want to say it i love this mouse i really do i really do um if you have any comments or questions, please post them below. I'll uh, I'll try to answer any anything and everything that's thrown at me. Uh, please subscribe. I appreciate all my subscribers, and uh, I hope that you're enjoying my videos. If you don't, the comments section below to blast me. So, um, 
if you have any recommendations for a future review, uh, you can uh, put that right on my. If you actually head to my uh, my main page on YouTube, my profile page, just post it on on there, and uh, I'll put that into consideration as long as I have access to it. I know I'm not a big guy that gets a whole bunch of free stuff from anybody, so most of my reviews are things that I personally buy. So, or if I have a friend that has it, I'll try to do that. Uh, otherwise, I appreciate you watching. Hope you enjoyed the review. And uh, the Rat Seven Mouse gets two thumbs up for me because it is a fantastic product. Um, and uh, I hope you enjoyed the review. So, thanks for watching.